I'd like to say tonight, first of all, I was very grateful for those readings. Uh, one thing that always struck me about Christian science that is different from many other religions is Mrs. Eddy, her explanation of heaven and hell. It's not some destination you're going to get to. It's you make your own heaven or hell by the life that you lead. And uh, no one is excluded from heaven. Anyone, I mean, this idea that certain religions have a little corner on heaven is, is just sort of a silly concept, in my humble opinion. And that's because of what Mrs. Eddy has taught us here. Everyone gets to heaven if you live a heavenly life, shall we say. And it was certainly read tonight so beautifully. A few months ago in our calendar, there was a wonderful statement that has helped me very much by Peter V. Ross. And it is this, you do not have to listen to disease when it pretends to argue to you. It has no voice, no intelligence, no symptoms, no presence, no existence. I've seen in my own life any time um, I've had any untoward situation, including a physical problem, it always comes first as a suggestion, a voice saying, hmm, maybe you're going to get this, or gosh, what's that funny little symptom you have, or look at this thing on your body, or whatever. Now, Mrs. Eddy is telling us, or Peter V. Ross in this instance, you don't have to listen to that voice. You can know it, it is no voice. It has no intelligence, no symptoms, no presence, no existence. And if you do this with the authority of Christ, the suggestions will stop, and so will any other signs of it. I have proven this over and over in my own life, and we hear testimonies to this effect every week. It goes along with what Mrs. Eddy says in Science and Health, on page 392, stand porter at the door of thought, admitting only such conclusions as you wish realized in bodily results, you will control yourself harmoniously. Mrs. Eddy has said, watch your thoughts, not your body. I'm very grateful for this instruction. Christian science is practical, it's provable, it's a way of life that we live every moment. Thank God for it, thank God for Mrs. Eddy, thank God for this independent church, I'm so grateful to be here with you all tonight.